Hi everybody, this is Kefren, your favorite French Canadian. Today I'm going to do a quick video again on the LSS Swapper. A big news, Intel just updated the XESS version to the 2.1 version. And honestly, it's amazing. It's uh, better for your image quality if you compare with FSR 3.1. And frame generation uh, feels a lot better with the, the new XESS uh, with the low latency mode. You don't really feel the input lag anymore. And again, it's better than FSR 3.1. So all all the people that currently have a Radeon car, Intel video car, and also uh, NVIDIA with series uh, 3000 or more older than that because you don't have access to the frame generation, I really recommend now to use the XESS 2.1 uh, over the FSR 3.1. So how to do that? Download the LSS Swapper. I'm going to put the, the link in my uh, video description. I know it's called DLSS, but when you click on the library, we'll have all the DLSS version, the FSR version, and now the XESS version. You have to download the latest one, the 2.0.2.53. I know it's not called 2.1, but it's always a bit confusing. It's like DLSS, the version 4, it's called 310. So don't look at this. Just make sure that you download this version. Make sure that you download the latest frame generation version and also the XELL download the latest version. When you did that, we're going to use Cyberpunk because it's well implemented in this game, but you can also do it in Clear Obscure. I'm not sure who's all the other games that currently you're using in my library, but anyway. So we're going to use Cyberpunk. We're going to click on it. So XESS, make sure that you're using the latest version like this and press swap. For frame generation, latest version swap and XELL, click on this swap. If you want to go back, you can revert it by clicking the restore original if you don't want to use it anymore. But uh, I really recommend to use those latest version. When you did that, you can just launch your game and uh, all those new versions will be applied. So now we're going to go inside of the game. I'm going to show you the difference and also how to apply it. So now inside of the game, right now I'm currently running XESS. I'm also running this uh, frame generation from Intel and the XELL for the low latency. And honestly, I'm really impressed. The image quality is a lot better in FSR 3.1. And also the biggest improvement is for frame generation. I'm not a fan of FSR 3.1. Uh, the input lag is crazy when you use that. And this one is really not that bad. It feels like the frame generation from uh, um, NVIDIA when it's well implemented. Really, really impressive, honestly. So we're going to take a look on the parameter that I'm currently using. So first of all, in the video section, now you will have the XE low latency. I really recommend to put this one at on so you can lock your FPS a little bit less. Like, for example, 142, you apply it and uh, it will feel a little bit better because technically it's artificial, the, the amount of frame that you have because of frame generation. And when you lock it like this, uh, it feels a lot better when you're playing your game. In the graphics section, you have a couple of other options. So first of all, uh, make sure that you're using the XESS. You have a couple of presets in Cyberpunk. It will really depend on the game. Sometimes you don't have the ultra and ultra performance. So for example, if you're using quality, I did a couple of tests quality in XESS 2.1 versus uh, the one from FSR 3.1. Uh, you will have better FPS with FSR, so it really depends what you need. If you need more FPS, just go with balance. But the thing is, quality XSS versus FSR, uh, the image quality is, is a lot better on Intel side. So just select whatever you need. For the sharpness, normally I always use something like 0.6 to 0.7. If your, your game looks too blurry, go higher. If your game looks too much like an Instagram filter, go lower. And after that, make sure that you activate your frame generation from XESS. And now you can play this and it's pretty amazing. Honestly, right now, all the games that you currently play with FSR 3.1 and you can push the new one, the XESS 2.1, do it. It's a lot better. It will be great for all the people that have a Gradient car, Intel card, or an NVIDIA card 3000 series or more uh, older because you don't have access to the famous frame generation and it helps a lot for your FPS. And now it's really good because you don't really feel the input lag. So this is pretty much it, guys, for my XESS guide, the 2.1 version. If you have any questions, just comment in the YouTube section. Post me your rig with your GPU. I will try to help you the best that I can. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Peace.